Hey everyone, we're going to do kind of a beginner series and do kind of define some terms and help provide some like background info for people who might be new getting into the hobby. So for most of you, this might be the kind of video you end up wanting to skip, but if you do watch it and you find it helpful, you might want to pass it on to maybe the, the new builder or the person who doesn't know what any of this is, uh, because this video is going to be all about uh, what is Gunpla and defining some of the terms that come around that, that whole subject. What is Gunpla? So Gunpla, uh, the word itself is a portmanteau of two words, Gundam and Plamo. And uh, we're gonna put those, those two words together and that's where you get uh, Gunpla from. Uh, but to know what that is, you kinda need to know what pl Plamo is and Plamo is basically the same thing, but plastic and model. So we're basically taking a plastic model of, of something and uh, that's a pretty wide category. Uh, but Gunpla more specifically is a model essentially of a Gundam. I feel like though, if we, if we look at the way the word is used more commonly, it often kind of expands beyond just Gundam in a lot of ways. People refer to Evangelion kits as Gunpla a lot of the time, or even kits made by other manufacturers. So I think, uh, kind of in common use, the word really encompasses almost any uh, mecha model kit, even though that's not really how the word was originally defined and used. I think one of the defining factors that makes these kind of different than, say, the traditional model kits that some of us might have grown up with uh, way back when, the you know, model tanks and planes and ships and all that kind of stuff, is that these are snap fit kits and they're molded in colored plastic. And this makes them much more accessible to the beginner because with very few tools, in fact, uh, many of us back in the, the early days and even currently, I think, start off using almost no tools and twisting pieces off the runners or using nail clippers or some crappy uh, tool they found around the house that's not intended for plastic bottles at all to cut these pieces out, snap them together, and they look basically like the intended Thing. They're not like a monochrome one color model. They, they have the colors that you would expect within reason. There's plenty of different grades, different, different options, but as a general rule, what you get is pretty much what you would expect out of the box. Uh, when we look at expanding this though into some of these other uh, lines, you know, there's, there's obviously Gundam model kits, which are the main thing that makes up Gunpla since it's in the name. If you look at some of the other options though, if you look at uh, what Bandai makes, they make Evangelion kits, for example, I already mentioned that, but they also do Star Wars, there's Toy Story kits, Digimon, uh, other animes like Star Blazer, uh, Kamen Rider, and it, it's kind of a, a fairly encompassing uh, kind of category, this whole Plamo thing and, uh, and Gunpla specifically. Outside of Bandai, there are plenty other manufacturers and we can kind of just, if we continue to broaden this uh, subject out, there are a lot of other manufacturers that make kits as well and a lot of them follow the same kind of paradigm. Snap model kits, colored plastic, got companies like Kotobukiya that makes Zoids and Hexagear uh, and they also make some Evangelion kits and, and some other ones as well. Uh, there's a few lesser known companies like Wave uh, and Flame Toys. Good Smile makes, makes some good stuff too from what I hear. Uh, and then there's even a few that I would say are just off the edge that are more traditional model like Hasegawa that makes model kits that kind of fit into that robot category but maybe they aren't colored plastic, maybe they don't snap fit and you need to use glue. Uh, but are worth looking at as well as you kind of expand your skills and get uh, deeper into the hobby. There's, there's two other places we can touch on real quick with this. Uh, number one is the, the other third party kits and the third party term gets thrown around. And I think to me, there's, there's like two definitions. There's anybody other than Bandai since Bandai kind of dominates the space. And then there's third party, meaning the other more um, dark side of the hobby, if you will. The companies that steal IP may be going so far as uh, duplicating molds and just casting Bandai's uh, runners into their own molds and trying to literally duplicate what they're doing, which is very much illegal pretty much anywhere. Uh, buying them isn't necessarily, but producing them and selling them 
is, uh, and some other businesses that created their own kits from uh, the Gundam franchises, for example, without a, uh, a legal license to uh, that, those works and creating their own kits, I think still illegal, a little bit less, uh, maybe not quite as bad because they're not straight up photocopying the kit essentially, uh, but still are usually considered not, not great in terms of ownership of IP and property rights and all that kind of stuff. Finally though, we've got uh, resin. And so when you go past the plastic model kits, a lot of builders will get into either resin kits or resin dress up kits, which can take kits to a whole new level. Uh, resin requires a lot more work, usually a lot more sanding. Sometimes you even have to fix uh, the shape of the parts because they warp out of the molds and things like that. Uh, and usually require uh, more gluing skills, pinning skills and the like, because they are not, uh, they don't, use the same plastic cements and aren't necessarily a, a snap fit like some of the other uh, parts. So that's kind of a bit of an overview of the, the hobby in general. In future videos, we'll cover things like the, the tools you'll need, uh, what are all the grades and scales of kits that Bandai makes and things like that. Uh, so let me know what you thought of this video. And of course, if you know somebody who might benefit from, from an overview like this, please share it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.